The only way it's going to happen is if you get hungry, if you get desperate for God and say, Lord, I will not settle for anything less. I require your touch. I must, I must have you come and impact my life. I don't want anything else. I don't want a substitute. I don't want a program. I don't want a nice little song and dance. I want God to come down and touch me now. Nothing else. When you get desperate, something will change. When you get to that place where you're desperate, something will change. Over in Mark 10, in verse 46, another man was desperate there. <coughs> and they came to Jericho. And as going out of the city with his disciples, Jesus, a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried all the more. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and he commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man saying unto him, be of good comfort, rise. He calls you. And he casting away his garment rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What do you want that I should do to you? And the blind man said to him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has made you whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus. Amen. And immediately he received the touch of God. Doesn't even say Jesus reached out and touched him. Doesn't say he reached and touched the hem of Jesus' garment. But he was desperate. And out of desperation, he was crying out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Everybody around him. I just can just imagine the religious folks of the day. Shh, you're embarrassing us. Be quiet, Bart. Hush. You know he had a short name. Nobody's going to go to Bartimaeus all the time. <laughs> Hush, Bart. You're going to embarrass us. Somebody stand in front of him. Get in front of him. <laughs> He's moving. <laughs> he didn't care. Said he cried all louder. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus heard him. He heard a cry of desperation. And he stopped right there. I'm not going any further. Because I hear the cry of faith. I hear a cry of faith. What's God here out of you? You say, I cry a lot, brother. That's different, though, maybe, than the cry of faith. God's not just going to respond to tears. Okay? Nowhere does it say... That God responds to tears. But many times that's all we can muster. We get up a bunch of tears. And we think God's going to be impressed with that. God, I'm crying more than anybody else in this church. Why can't I get what I want? Because the only thing that moves the hand of God is faith. I said the only thing that moves the hand of God, the only thing that pleases Him is faith. And if you have faith, you will receive what you believe you receive. Amen. So reach out in faith and say, it's mine. I take it now. It's mine. I'm not going to be denied. Bartimaeus got two new eyes that day. Because his faith was so great. It's amazing how all the people telling you to be quiet because you embarrassed them. When all of a sudden, 
God has you in his sights. They become your best friend. Oh, Bart, come on. He's calling you. Let me escort you. I'll be your personal assistant. <laughs> Do you need a glass of water, Bart? Come on. You're my best friend, buddy. But you know what? God's still listening for cries of desperation. Amen. Let me just take it a little bit further, okay? Let me just take it a little bit further. Because he responds to faith. And he responds to faith in his word. He doesn't just respond to his word. The word says... His word will not return void. It will accomplish that which it set forth to do. But there's a lot of people that just quote his word. But there's no faith behind it. You have to mix faith with your words. Don't just quote the word of God. Speak the word in faith. Speak it in faith. Say, God, this is what your word says. I require to receive what your word says is mine. Your word says that by your stripes I am healed. And in Jesus' name, Lord, I receive my healing. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. That's my word. I'm not going to let it slip past me. Lord, you promised me. You would baptize me. According to your word, what John the Baptist prophesied. You would baptize me with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And I want it all, God. Yeah. yeah. Put him in remembrance of his word. But use faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. His word always works when it's mixed with faith. If it's mixed with passiveness, you'll get nothing. You'll get nothing. You'll remain on the same level spiritually. Your teeth will fall out quoting the word. The word has to be mixed with faith. The word works though. The word is power. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. This is pure power. But if you quote the word, and then after you get done quoting the word, you in turn then go to the substitute of the anointing. How much faith, let me just ask you, how much faith do you think you have? How much faith do you think you have? Because we do that a lot. And we've got to get to a place of desperation. 